How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can take your CNC machine and use it to draw pictures on about anything you want. So first we're going to want to grab whatever we're going to be drawing on, in my case the Amazon Fire tablet. We're going to want to hop on our computer and head to Easel. Easel is an online free cam software that I'm going to be using to write the g-code that will be drawing our picture onto our tablet. So let's hop on the computer and I'll show you how to set it up. Okay so now you can see we're at Easel. You can just find this by looking up Easel through Google but you're gonna have to sign up with a free account. Once we get here we can go ahead and click this button here, the import button, image trace. Then we're gonna to want to upload our file that we previously chose to draw. Click select files to upload, and then go ahead and find your picture that you're gonna be wanting to draw through in your computer's file system. There's mine, and I'll click open. Then let's go ahead and upload that. Okay, so now it's uploaded to Easel. You can see it's very dark, and a lot of the characters are filled in. I want mine just to be the outline of all the characters. So let's go down to trace outlines and click that. Now you can see it's going to just be drawing the outline of all the characters, so later we can go in and fill this in with a sharpie if we'd like. The rest of the settings look good. You can go ahead and smooth your lines and your corners more if you'd like, or you can change the threshold, which is uh, the different colors that this easel will pick up. So once we're done, we'll go ahead and click import. And you can see now here we've got it on our left-hand corner. This is what the dimensions will be once it goes onto our piece of wood over here. So my tablet here is around five inches by eight inches. So we're gonna want to change this dimension to be a little over five inches and a little over eight inches to give us some extra room to work with. So you can see all I did here to make my image the correct size is I just squeezed it and stretched it. Now obviously if you want your picture to look the exact same as your other picture, you won't want to do that. You'll want to crop down your photo to be the correct ratio. But since it looks pretty good both ways, I'm just going to go ahead and squish it and stretch it to fit the dimensions I want. You can also see I've left a little bit over 8 inches on the height and a little bit over 5 inches on the width. That gives us some extra wiggle room, that way we have enough whenever we're going to draw it. We can go over here and change the cut. I normally put that down to around 0.02. Now that really depends on how much you want your marker to be pushed down onto the object you're drawing. For me, don't want it to be pushed down that much because I've got a pretty hard tipped marker. It should be good over here on the left side. Let's move over to the right side. You can see this is the board I'm gonna be cutting. Now I'm not gonna be actually cutting this out of wood. That is the size that my tablet is. So you can change that up here where it says birch plywood. It doesn't really matter what the material is, but I put my width five inches, my length eight inches, and my thickness is 0.125 inches, an eighth of an inch. Now again, the thickness doesn't really matter also, as long as you set your zero whenever we're gonna be drawing this to the correct height. Now your bit, I, I did other, that depends on the diameter of the tip of your marker. So I normally put my width of the tip of my bit for a drawing, we're gonna put that to the diameter of the tip of our marker we're gonna be using. So for me, I'm gonna be using the black version of this marker here, and you can see it's a very fine tipped marker. That way we can get our lines to be more detailed. Whenever I measure this, the tip that I'm gonna be using is about 0.03 inches. So that's what I'm gonna be putting as the drill bit diameter here. So we can go ahead and change that to whatever the diameter of your marker. You could even be using a bigger Sharpie if you want. Cut settings, not exactly sure if these are the right way to go, but I put my feed rate at 30 inches a minute, my plunge rate to 19 inches a minute, and your depth per pass, you wanna be the exact same as your total depth. Change that to 0.02. That's the same number that we put in over here as our depth. Once we've got this done, we can go ahead and generate a detailed preview and that'll show us all of our cuts that are gonna be made here virtually, or we can go up here to machine, advanced, and generate g-code. This is going to go ahead and generate a g-code that we can download and then put into our other software that sends the g-code to our CNC machine. So now that our program is done on Easel and we've already downloaded it, let's go ahead and open up our g-code sender, which in my case is UGS Universal G-Code Sender. We'll open that and as it's opening, I did realize I forgot to show you what the actual picture looks like. So this is what we're going to be drawing on the tablet. I thought this looked pretty cool. And so this is what is going to be finalized on our tablet. 
So once our universal G code sender is opened up, we can go ahead and connect to our CNC machine. So we're add in, refresh our port and connect. Then once we're connected to our CNC, we can open our G code file. This is the one we downloaded earlier. And you can see this is the tool path that is gonna be created from our CNC machine. So let's hop back to the other camera and I'll show you how to set up your CNC to get ready for cutting or drawing, not cutting. So to get your CNC set up, you should probably design and 3D print an actual marker mount. Uh, my 3D printer has been pretty busy lately printing stuff out for Christmas and for others. So right now I've hot glued it here and added some tape and it's, it's pretty sturdy for what it is. Next you're gonna to wanna to take whatever you're gonna be drawing on. In my case, I'm gonna be using this fire tablet. And we're gonna to wanna to wipe the back off, wipe the front. And let's go ahead and clean our CNC board. So that way we don't have anything that could be messing up the screen. I would recommend probably putting something down to protect your screen, but I'm not gonna do that. Now we're gonna to wanna to set it up with our support mounts here. That we can get it locked down in place for drawing later. We don't want it to move around at all. Now is also probably a good time to take a little piece of tape if you're gonna be using an electronic device and cover up your camera hole just in case. And now we can go ahead and take our marker cap off and then using your G-code sender, you should be able to move your machine remotely. But to do that first, we're gonna have to home our machine. So once our machine's done homing though, we can go ahead and move it. And what we're gonna do here is in our program, wherever we put our endpoint at, or our starting point, we wanna put the starting point in that corner of the tablet. And this is where our CNC is gonna consider our home, so it knows where to start whenever it's drawn. Okay, I think that should be good. So then in your G codes, you're gonna to wanna to click reset zero and that'll set it at your zero mark. And now let's see if we've done this right. We should be able to go ahead and click start and it should start drawing this. Except the only thing I just realized is I put my tablet in backwards. Let me fix that real fast. Now we're positioned the correct way. Let's go ahead and double check that our zero point is still good. It still looks nice. And let's go ahead and start. The thing is with this tablet, if it doesn't do exactly right the first time, since it's plastic and it's a Sharpie, we can take a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a cloth and clean it off. So that makes it a little bit easier to go ahead and start and make sure we have everything set up right. If you're doing something else that you can't really restart and clean off, you'll probably wanna use something like this, which is a piece of foam board that is the same size of the object you're gonna be drawing on, so that way you can do a couple tests. As you can see here, I went ahead and started it to see what it would look like. It obviously didn't finish. I stopped it because I was noticing that the foam board had some variations in it. So this is where it dips down and it doesn't actually complete the image. But you can see there's a couple little characters and that's eventually what's gonna be on our tablet here. Now's the scary part. Let's hit start. Oh goodness, here goes nothing. Oh, yep, so our heights aren't right. You can see the marker was wiggling around. So to change that, we'll go return to zero. And so our marker was too close, so we want to raise it up a little bit, reset our zero, and try again. There's probably a better way to actually do this, but this is the way I'm going to do it. That looks pretty good. So it looks like our bed is lower here than it is over here. Because here it's drawing fine, here it's not. So I'm gonna have to fix that and let's start again. Might have just clicked reset zero here, so I'm gonna have to go grab the rubbing alcohol, clean the build plate, and we'll start all over.
turned out pretty nice. Uh, I really like the design on the back of the tablet, and it makes this $30 tablet a lot cooler than it was before. Uh, you can obviously use this technique on anything else you want. You could write on a wood, paper, uh, even like poster board if you want to put like cool titles or drawings on your projects. I just figured I really wanted to spruce up this tablet, so I thought it'd be a fun little project and something cool to use my CNC for. If you have any suggestions of anything else you want me to draw on or use my CNC for, please leave it down below in the comments as I would really like to know and I can add it to my list of things to do. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share with other people who have a CNC and you think they might want to do this also. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.